Hey guys, so wanted to give a little intro unpacking first experience with the uh, Froggy's Fog Fobbles F4 Fog Bubble Machine. You can see it right here. I literally just got it and I set it up and I just wanted to walk you through my experience so far. So um, it comes with a manual, everything arrived fine. Um, there's a little plastic screw here, a lock screw that was broken. I super glued it, but I'll probably end up replacing it at some point. But uh, everything arrived fine. You see I have uh, the recommended bubble juice. They suggested the Froggy's Fog guy, Eli there, who was super helpful, suggested the high color bubble juice. And then also the bog fog. You can't go wrong with that. Um, one thing that was slightly annoying is the setup takes you through this remote. It's a really small remote and What's kind of annoying is it doesn't come with a battery. So you open it up, just there's three little screws and watch out because they come, the screws come uh, in this little baggie and they're super tiny. So it's really easy to drop them and, and lose them, but not a very standard battery. It's, it's like, a, it's not a triple A, it's not a quadruple A, it's smaller and skinnier. Uh, it's a 27. You can't find this everywhere, but it's kind of a pain that if you're going to use a non-standard battery they should have included a battery or at least told you what size it was because nowhere in the description nowhere on their website do they tell you which battery to use so i thought that was really strange but um you know i just followed the directions it was really straightforward i put in the fluid you know i i, I made sure to <laughs> i labeled that and then i also label my bottles just because you don't want to put bubble juice in the fog and vice versa because you'll really mess up the machine. But I, I filled both reservoirs and, uh, and then I just turned the on button on and uh, it warmed up. It took about five minutes. I've got it going on fobbles right now. And uh, if you want to just change it, you just go here and you can go down to bubble, haze, fog, bubble fogger. But um, that's obviously the one if you hit it again you can I've been playing around with the volume and the bubble fan speed versus the booster fan speed I don't know if I see a huge difference the bubble wand speed is how fast that thing goes around timer interval if you have it it's all pretty self-explanatory I did I left the DMX control here because I'm just using the remote and doing it manually but I did change the LED program to number one which is just red lights when it turns on there's some uh, uh, LED lights here and it'll go red because this is for like a third grader Valentine's Day party for my daughter <clears throat> I'm just a dad I'm not a DJ so anyways you can either push this button or you can just use B to turn it on on the remote you turn it on and then you could just it'll keep going until you hit it again you could also set a program but I'm just doing it manually right now so I'm gonna give this a shot we'll just hit B we'll spin it up my daughter Kai. So you can see the fog, the first few bubbles are just bubbles and then the fog kicks in and it's super cool. I mean you cannot go wrong here. These things are rad. And we also, just for the record, we put a, we put a, a scent in there. I've got some cotton candy scent since it is a third grader party. Um, you can see the LED lights there. You can change all the programs, it's in the but it's pretty sweet. <laughs> Kids love it. Um, it was pretty windier, the wind just died down a little bit, so it's kind of lingering. If I just hit B again on this remote, you'll see that it just cut off like that. And uh, there's some lingering bubbles that just kind of come out, but again, this is super cool. So looking forward to using it. That's the first wrap up. We just had a little test. Just wanted to do a dry run before the big Valentine's Day party tonight. Later.